For the love of God, how much does he weigh? Are you serious? Yeah. He's gigantic. And what is his name again? His full name's Ovechkin, but we call him Ovi. Ovi. Hi, Bubba. Oh my lord, you a big boy. You a big boy. Man, he's big, huh? Yes. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Erwin Valeramos, it's a pleasure to meet you. Cranberry. Good, good, good. <laughs> what a big, beautiful dog. Is he intact? He's been neutered? Neutered. Okay. Yeah. So his his uh, his nickname is Ovi? Yeah. Hi, Ovi. Hey, like Ovi Wan Kenobi. Ovi, good, good, good. Look at that beautiful dog. All right, so this is kind of the problem that you're having with him, yeah? Yeah. He pulls, okay? <laughs> and then, so look, you have this. Oh, cool. He's got his name on there. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Hey, Bubba, let's show everybody your name. Look. So look at this collar that you have on him, yeah? It's pretty sturdy. Has he, ever, has he ever snapped off of this? No. Okay, does he know how to slip it? No. Okay. So, this is what I was talking about. Yes, when we were talking and I was telling you about the potential need to use a training leash and a collar. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm gonna give you my personal opinion, and I'm gonna tell you right now, my personal opinion is he should be on a training leash and a training collar. Okay. He, he doesn't strike me as a soft dog, but I might be wrong. You're good to him, obviously, yeah? yeah. I mean, for sure. He's, <laughs> he's, he's looking good, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and may I ask you, do you, he's shaved, yes? Yes. Do you keep him shaved uh, even in the winter time? Yeah. Because Texas yeah. is just not hot enough, huh? I mean, not yeah. cold enough, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I'm asking is I have a, a, a Russian Shepherd, a Caucasian of Chanka. Uh -huh. And uh, man, I, I've been shaving him like a lion, but I'm thinking of keeping him shaving him down because he just seems like it's hot. Yeah, go and make sure. No! Everybody's howling. Okay. That's probably, it's probably Sabo that started it. My old Charka probably started. Okay, so um, right now he's not pulling you or anything. He's standing at your side. He's not extremely rambunctious or overwhelming but when you do walk him he is pulling yes. will you uh and and especially like if you're walking him in your neighborhood yes, yes. some place that he's familiar with more likely to pull because there's less things that he's interested in smelling will you demonstrate to me how he walks please and let me know is this better or worse or what do you think oh, this, is better. this is better than normal yeah okay sways, yeah big beautiful dog okay well like i was telling you i'm He's going to learn what we want from him in minutes, okay? And I'm going to teach you how to make it happen. And I'm going to, at first, give you the benefit of the doubt and ask to see what kind of style you want to go with. And then I'm going to give you my recommendation. But just by looking at him, I know what's going to be most effective. But I'm open to your ideas and thoughts. Yes, I'm not a know-it-all. You know, you might teach me something about dog training that will change my course today, yes? Yes. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming out. So a couple of things, yes? You always walk him on this collar, you don't use a harness? I've tried a harness, he snapped it. Okay. And I've tried a head. The, the head halty muzzle? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, those things, okay. I'm not, he how did that halty work with him? He wouldn't walk. Yeah, see, I don't, I'm not a big fan of those things because they pull a dog's head down. Yeah. And I don't wanna like make a dog feel like they can't be confident and look up. Uh -huh. You wanna keep your head up, yes? Yeah. You know, even like during this training session, yes? That leads me to my very first tip. So that one of the very first things you're going to wanna exercise with him from now on is especially during training sessions you want to get into the habit of petting him under the chin good 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 see how i'm petting him here under the chin uh -huh. and whenever he makes eye good 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 eye contact with me i'm going to start chanting the word good even if it interrupts my conversation with you okay so the very first thing again is petting him good 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 petting him under the chin yeah petting him back here anywhere else here there's nothing wrong with it necessarily. The only kind of petting that I disagree with completely is touching a dog on top of the head. They don't even really like that. And yeah. you know, if you're petting a dog like this, look at that. I almost feel like I'm abusing him. <laughs> I hate it. He doesn't like it either. No. Kind of like when you go visit grandma and grandma's like, man, how are you growling? Yeah. We'll want that, yeah? <laughs> so ideally, we're gonna pet him under the chin. If you stop during the training session specifically, touching him anywhere other than under the chin, you're going to keep him nice and confident. But on top of that, not only is he going to be nice and confident, you're also going to make uh, the rest of his body very sensitive to your touch. So let's say he's thinking about being naughty and you do one of these, yeah. that's gonna make, man, that, like nothing. Yeah, nothing. Like nothing right now, but it will. He'll become sensitive. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you're only petting him here. And I'm hardcore, yeah? I'm gonna tell you another thing I do. If I'm petting a dog and I'm petting him under the chin and he stops making eye contact with me, I stop petting him. You want to raise the value of your praise by doing those things. So this is what I was talking to you about on the phone. Yeah, you can learn everything mm -hmm. in the class, but it's up to you to fulfill it, to persist, yeah. to make it happen. Okay. 
Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Believe it or not, I'm on I'm on the 20th diet that I'm probably not gonna persist on. You see, yeah. New Year's, you know, New Year's, my New Year's resolution. Think, you know, think about it. Yeah. Sometimes I even think maybe I just need to join a different gym. Yeah. You know, it's not the gym. Yeah. It's the yeah. person. I'm the one that had chocolate chip cookies yesterday. Yeah. Before I went to bed, didn't have to have them. Yeah. But you know what? I had to have them. Yeah. yeah. I needed yeah. the energy for today because he's a big boy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. 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 What a lovely dog. So first tip. Yes, we're gonna be petting him under the chin. The other thing is we're going to start standing our ground. You're pretty good about standing your ground, by the way, though. Yeah. So if he sees something right now that catches his eye and he wants to go that way and pulls you, whatever you do, don't go in that direction. In fact, I'm going to ask you to go in the opposite direction. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, if I do these things with your dog and I'm going to potentially, you know, it can come across wrong because this is my first impression. So just to put it in perspective for you, if he was being dropped off for training today, it would maybe be a week before I did what we're about to do together. Okay. But that being said, you're his mom. Yeah. I mean, he loves you, he knows you, he trusts you. So the reason I would wait a week is just to let him acclimate and to build a little bit of a bond with him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like get a little bit of a bond going, right? Mm -hmm. Before I start kind of fussing him and making him do good, 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 good. And the reason I said good there is because he looked at you for engagement. One quick tip, yes? So, I haven't seen him sit yet. But look, next time he turns and looks at you like that, pet him under the chin, and if you can, as you're petting him under the chin, push his butt down. Okay. And then if his butt hits the ground, you have another reason to pet him and tell him good sit and maybe give him a hug. The okay. moment he rises from that, you stop petting him. So see, we're going to use on and off, turn ons and turn offs. Hey man, when you sit in front of me, I love it and I'm gonna pet you. The moment you get up, ah. Uh, you done broke the you done broke the spell. Yeah. <laughs> Make him think he can mesmerize you. Okay. Jenner step now. He's freaking huge, dude. He's big. He's big. I can't. I love it, man. I love working a dog like this because it makes my big belly look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't wait. All right. So we're gonna start off by leash taming. I'm gonna tell you right now what will change the pulling forever. He doesn't even have to come in for boarding and training. You don't even have to come out for another class. Good sit. Unbelievable. Que guapo. Oh my God, que guapo is this Swiss taco. Good sit, Baba. And you see how Cranberry and I came animated and alive the moment he sat down, like he won the lottery or something? Yeah. That's making some, that's acknowledgement. So the other thing I want you to understand is dogs like children thrive in a large community of acknowledgement and affection. So acknowledge. I can't tell you how many times I'm standing around a dog and I see a dog sit and they don't look at him. But if the dog starts sniffing somebody's crotch, everybody's looking at him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yeah. You know, so that creates that behavior. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that I am noticing is he does come around you a lot. I love it. <laughs> now, but may I tell you, you're missing an opportunity, okay? So hereafter, what I want you to do is every time he's in front of you, okay? And you know, he kind of does that thing where he kind of turns and then comes and looks at you like this. Remember how I asked you to pet him under the chin and push his butt on the ground? Yeah. But you didn't do right now, coincidentally, right? <laughs> Instead of doing that though right now, then maybe what I want you to do is rotate clockwise. So as he starts to come towards you, I want you to start rotate. See right there, rotate clockwise. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right there, right there, keep rotating. Now stop right there, and now look, place his butt down so he sits. Oh, yes, ma'am, nope, but without telling him. Oh. <laughs> nope, without telling him. Good yeah, sit. Good so you did good, couple of things, yes? Yeah. So that's what, so every time you see him kind of come around you, I want that to trigger a response from you where you rotate clockwise, you bring him all the way around and when he gets near your side, instead of telling him to sit, you're going to apply pressure up towards your right shoulder blade. That's okay, rotate again, rotate again. You got another opportunity. Every time he does that, keep rotating. Now start applying pressure up towards your right shoulder blade with the leash, pull up on the leash. And as you pull up, push his butt down, please. You did it like a champion. This dog might not need a training collar. Good sit, now don't pet him. Be still, because let me tell you something. We need him to understand to be calm. So. Whenever you place him into the sit, until you touch him, I don't want him to get up from it. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah. So guess what he's doing right now? An awesome stay. Yeah. Good stay, good stay. It's okay for him to lay down. Good down. Now do you see what I'm doing right now? Yeah. I'm acknowledging behaviors. Okay. He laid down, I'm going to tell him good down. 
He's allowed to lay down, but if you were to stand up and rise, then you very quickly apply pressure. You pull up towards your right shoulder blade and you push down on his butt until he goes back into the sit. Okay. When he sits, you're going to tell him good sit. Ask nothing of him. I want, we're going to teach him how you roll, how you move as a pack. Giving him commands and barking at him is nagging him and doesn't teach him how you move, yeah. how you want to function as a pack. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So let me give you an example right now. Let's test him. You're gonna walk away from him. You're gonna keep the leash in your hands. The moment he gets up, you're going to step back into him. Apply pressure up with your leash and push his butt down, yes? Okay. Do not drop the leash. Step away from him, please. Extend your, oh, no, stop, stop, stop. Now go back to him. Go back to him and apply pressure. So see, take him back to more or less where he was at without saying anything to him. Good job. Very good. Now come and stand with him at your left, please. Perfect. Part of the reason he got up there is because apply pressure, apply pressure. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're doing perfect. You're being more stubborn than him. Perfect. Part of the reason he got up there is because there was a little play on the leash. So I'm going to teach you shenanigans, right? Like a magician. See, I can take this dog and make it look better than he really is because I know the shenanigans. Okay. Other trainers do too. They just don't tell you that, yeah? yeah? I'm telling you, look, apply pressure. Up, up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, you see how he's spinning on you? Next time, maybe a little more forceful pressure up, but you nailed it. Now, extend your leash all the way out before you walk away from him, please. Good. Now, I want you to, when you step away, instead of turning the way you did before. Oh, he's massive. Okay, I gotta remember sometimes, can't get lost in the awesome, huh? Because you're looking at him, his chest is so gigantic. He looks massive. All right, so, when you step away from him, yes? Good, good, good. Good stay. Good down. When you step away from him, mom, okay? Instead of stepping away the way you did before, you're going to step away with him. You're going to step away by extending your right leg away from him, but keeping your left shoulder blade towards him. So you see how I'm stepping away? If he was right here, right? I'm stepping away like this, with my right shoulder blade towards him. And then I'm going to turn and face him. You see what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead and step away now, please. Keep the leash in your hands. Perfect. Oh, now stop, apply pressure. Good job. Perfect. Step away from him again, please. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, apply pressure. Good job. Man, you're nailing it. Walk away from him, please. Apply pressure. You're nailing it. You're doing it. He's learning. He's learning. Okay? He's learning. You're doing it. Only thing I would change is the pressure. Step away from him. The pressure. Good. Up, step. Walk up towards him. Okay. Cranberry, we can take this, please? Specifically, didn't ask, did not ask you to do that, but... Pay attention. Remember, hold the tumble. Don't do anything extra. Not asking. Very, very clear directions. May I take him? Yes. You're doing good. Now I'm going to show you. You're handling him like a champion. Yes. So now look what I'm standing with him here. Yes. I'm going to let the leash kind of come this way. Look. You see how he walked towards you? Remember what I said? You're going to be a pillar. If he goes ahead of you, you're going to bring him back to you. So now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make what you what you would do naturally happen with me with force, I guess. Yeah? So look, he's here. My left shoulder blade is pointed towards him. I'm not looking at him because I don't want to come across confrontation. So now look, I'm going to apply pressure and I'm going to start rotating clockwise. The moment he yields, good, 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 good. I'm going to turn him again. So now we're going to here to apply pressure. Good. This is it. And now look, when I step away from him, good stay. Good. Look how good you Okay. Okay, you done this. Look. Look how I'm handling my leash. I'm not allowing any play to happen. Good stay, Papa. Good stay. Good. See how I haven't commanded him? Good. Good stay, my love. You see what I was talking about? More force on the leash? Good stay. And look how I'm standing out. Good stay. And now I'm going to come back to him. I'm going to pause for three seconds. One, two, three. And then don't do this with a strange dog because you can get bit in the face. Yeah, but you're going to kind of good stay. If I know him better, my face will be all up in this. <laughs> 
Okay. I just don't know him well enough for that. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's big. Yeah. He's, he's, stop. Please don't take this the wrong way. But he's monstrous. <laughs> yeah. He's freaking monstrous. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of afraid of him, yeah? I'm kind of afraid of him. But you know what? It's a fallacy when people say dogs know you're afraid. I'm a little intimidated by him because he's a big boy. Yeah. And I'm over there shoving him around, you know? Can't help but be near his face when I'm pushing his butt down, right? Yeah. The difference, he doesn't know that I'm nervous because I'm not letting it off. Okay. You see? So courage is the willingness to proceed despite the fear. I'm like an actor here. I should get an Oscar for this, yeah? I'm out here looking like I'm all about I'm an alpha male. But now look, now that I've touched him, yes, if he chooses to stand, I'm going to be okay with it. And I'm going to, until he pulls. Now that he pulls me, look. So I'm going to become predictable. Every time he hits the end of this leash, bam! I'm going to bring him around, make him sit at my left, and then I'm going to test him. Ooh. Good. Watch. Good. 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 You notice how I said the word when he put his butt on the ground, yeah? Good. See how I did it that time? Good. Good. Good, 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 my love. Good. Handsome. Handsome. Good. But I need to test it, yes? So if you were doing this at home, you can take your time and spread this out over the next few days. But I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna make it happen today. So look, every time. Good. So look, good, good, good stay. Good, 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 good. See where I'm saying the word good? Good stay, Papa. Good stay, my love. Hands. Good stay. Good. 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 One, two, three, yeah? If you don't pause, if you, we don't count to three, the dog will anticipate you letting him go and get up and get jittery. Good stay. You want to pause for three seconds before you acknowledge the dog, and then afterwards, good stay, Papa. Good stay. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. The dog Messiah, yeah? <laughs> good stay, Papa. One, two, three, and then look. Oh! Oh, I tricked him. I can't. Oh, look, he got up. So look, watch. Without letting him get at my left, he knows that I'm testing him, and he's gonna pass the test. Good stay, Papa. Good stay, my love. Look, a couple of shenanigans. I'm keeping my left shoulder blade towards him. You notice that? Some shenanigans. Look. Good stay. My left shoulder blade towards him. So he feels like I'm ready to pounce on him, boy. He's thinking, man, if I get up, he's gonna pounce on me like a tiger. You see what I mean? My right shoulder blade is defensive. Ooh, look how he changed. As soon as I get my right shoulder blade, he's like, what's up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because wolves circling you with their left shoulder blade, they're sizing you up, man. Wolves circling you with their right shoulder blade, they're gonna catch you. You see what I mean? So look, come back, right? One, two, three. Handsome. Handsome. Now, if he were my dog or I had a better rapport with him or I knew him, I've only known him for a few minutes, I would have come, more elation would be happening right now. I'd be like, yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. Well, you see how I handle them, right? Yeah. Now, so you're, that's what you have to do. So may I tell you, he already knows. Okay. He's already been touched, yeah? He knows. Yeah. Now all you have to do is the repetition. But remember, part of that is every time he hits the end of his leash, bam, good. Good, good. Look, he's already walking in my left. He already kind of came around. Then look, he's a little stubborn about this part, but I'm more stubborn than him. Yeah. Okay. And now I walk. Now I want him to get up. So check this out. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable that I can hop that beautifully, huh? Considering, look at that. Good stay, huh? Yeah. Oh look. <laughs> Just making him live through it. Live through it, Bubba. You're gonna be fine. We all know you big. We all know you're powerful. I can feel it. Oh my God. So when I did this, you probably thought I was saying, come here. Yeah. And he didn't. He's enlightened. Oh my Lord. Good, 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 good. What a handsome dog. He's smart. Handsome. Que guapo. Good stay, my love. And now we're gonna go for our first walk. So you see what I'm talking about there? That, what I just did right now, will decrease his pulling. It's gonna okay. give you control. Do this with him and with your other dogs. Okay. 
You see what I mean? Yeah. And if you have me come out to your home, I won't charge anything extra to work all of them. Okay. Work every one of those little dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Make them understand. <laughs> all right? Uh, now watch how I'm going to teach him to stay at my left. All right. I touched him. So now if he stands up, I'm not going to push his butt on the ground. It's important. Yeah? If you touch a dog during this exercise, if he gets up, you got to give him like five or seven seconds to do whatever he wants to do. The moment that dog pulls you though and extends your hand, then you make him come back around and you make him finish, yeah? So watch. The moment he did that, he done caught my attention. My love, good fit. Handsome. And you notice how I'm not nagging him. I'm not saying sit, 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 man. Yeah. I'm showing him. Actions speak louder than words with a dog, yeah? Yeah. Now, the walk. I'm going to touch him, yeah? And now I'm going to walk. Whenever he gets at least a foot and a half or so away from me, in front of me rather, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Okay. Or a foot or so away from me. Some more than ideally in front of me, right? So I'm gonna walk, right? So look, good, 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 look. Good. You have a hand in him? Now this is where a training collar will help you because you won't have to jerk him as much. But look, good, 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 good. Look. Let's go in that way, look, I'm gonna go Now look, I'm gonna cut him off. Watch, look at my knee. Bam! Good, good, good. Man, he could have been right across the face. Don't rub him, dude. Look, now when I come to a stop. Good. Good, you're good. Man. I just saw a guy's video say, don't ever run from a dog. Yeah, don't. Look at that. Cool, huh? Cool, huh? Good stay, Papa. What an amazing stay. Barking while he stays, while he's seated, and shows something that's called revere. Look at that. Oh, watch. Good stay. I'm not tripping, I'm not mad. I'm exhausted because I got better. what I just did? Yeah. Man, it's gonna be so easy. <laughs> but touch him so he can get up, yeah? Okay. Grab the leash, stand right next, square up next to him. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Bless your little heart. All right, go check on them. All right, do you understand what I'm, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this so you'll be able to see how I handle him, so you can reference it and you can compare. He's massive, how you're handling him compared to me, yes? yes. You ready? Go ahead and touch him and start to walk, please. Good, 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 good. Turn to the left on him. Okay, that was your right, but that's okay. You're doing good, that's okay. Turn to your right now. Good, now when you see, look, turn left right now. Turn left on him. Bam, there you go, turn left again, another sharp left. Kick that right foot out a little bit, kick that right foot out a little bit. There you go, mom, perfect, slow down. Start to apply pressure, slow down. Apply pressure, step into him. You're doing it. So one thing that I would change is when you make that left turn on him, yes, this knee needs to kind of come up as you pivot. You see what I mean? So look. So you're kind of bumping him with your knee like, like a soccer ball on the way. <laughs> but you're cutting him off, ideally. So every time I told you to make that turn, I'm trying to get you to cut him off. Okay. All right, so look right now, when you start walking, take one and a half, you know, take one step or so, then bam, to the left, yes? Make a square on him, all right? That'll make him pay attention, you ready? touch and start to walk and I was wrong because he seems to be hand manageable with that with that collar no see step no turn to the right too too he's too far ahead of you keep going don't say anything too far ahead of you did you say the word good no oh okay good would have been appropriate turn to the right good now look now turn left on him perfect 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 turn left again perfect perfect slow down start applying pressure up towards your right shoulder blade and come to that stop Extend your leash out the way I did. Keep your left shoulder blade towards him. Extend your leash out. He can do it. You can do it. Walk away from him, please. Oh, but I never dropped the leash like that. Yeah, I've always extended it out. You're doing good, though. But look, awesome, huh? Yeah. Awesome, huh? 
And, and again, we've never worked them before. I just met you. Yeah, you just called me yesterday. Yeah. A lot of times other trainers are like, man, he's been working that dog or that dog knows him. They think I'm making it up. Yeah. It's the truth though, yeah? Yes. Good stay. All right, step back to him, please. Pause for three seconds. Pause for three seconds. One, two, three. Step away from him. Oh, we'll trick both of you. Up, oh, grab the leash. That was perfect. Apply pressure. Perfect. Step away. Extend your leash out. Extend your leash out. There you go. Now let it go. Good. Oh, grab the leash. Apply. See, he saw that you dropped it. So he took advantage, yes? Good. No, no, no. Walk away from him. There you go. Just teaching that you're in control. He gets up, bam, I'm on you, boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can't you? And look, he's doing good. There's a lot of distractions, huh? There's like planes in the air. There's trucks going by. I can swear I hear police sirens. I really don't, but I feel like I should be. <laughs> Step back into him, please. Pause for three seconds. See that anxiousness? Anxiousness, yeah? Step away from him, please. Good stay. Perfect. Unbelievable. You even messed up by turning your back to him and he still stayed put. Go back to him, please. Pause for three seconds. One, two, three. Give him a big old hug and tell him good stay. And now let's give him a break. Repetition, yes? Yeah. Awesome, huh? And again, his name is Ovi? Yes. How old is he? Six. Six years old? I thought he was five. Yeah, so you can't yeah. teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. Do you have any questions about what we just did? No, no questions, huh? Yes. Very, very good. Awesome, huh? Very, 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 very good. Good, 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 Ovi. You gonna say goodbye to everybody? Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. So you understand what I mean? Yeah, both of you noticed me kind of at the same time. When he noticed me when I came around the corner and didn't move, good opportunity to say good stay, yeah? So right now what we're gonna do is we're going to test him around other dogs because she said around other dogs where she loses a lot of the control. Again, he's not on a training collar. So this might be the deciding factor on whether or not Honestly, you're wasting your time if you don't use a training collar, de de depending on how well you're able to handle him. And if you handle him beautifully, but he just doesn't respond, then it's not you, it's the dog. And I'm gonna be blunt with you if it's your handling or the dog or a combination of both. So he's bringing out Savo. Good, good, good. Okay, so he's making a little bit of a liar out of you because yeah, he's doing awesome all of a sudden, yeah? yeah? But that might just be because of the session we just had. Yeah. We just straight up dominated him, changed his outlook on life. Good stay, papa. Now one mistake mom was you touched him a little while ago. Yeah. Remember, who touched me? If you touch him, he's allowed to get up. Okay. All right. So don't touch him, yes? Yes. So he's doing amazing though. Yes. So, mom, <laughs> all right, <laughs> I know what's happening because we just worked him. Yeah. I'm telling you, remember what I was telling you off camera? Yeah, people ask me, what is the first session gonna be about? Everything. Because every, good down, unbelievable this dog, dude. He's for real. He's out of control. <laughs> All right. All right. That little dog is more out of control. And that's, hey, that's, that's a good, 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 Savo. That's okay. Hey, Bubba. You got a limp. Hi, my love. Hey, baby. Good stay. Look, apply pressure. Apply pressure. Now, don't step forward. Good job. Apply pressure. Pull him back. Now, hold your ground. You did good. I said hold your ground. You don't have to hold your ground, leave him alone. Okay. I asked you to bring him out because he doesn't have any training. And most dogs that she's gonna encounter don't have any training. He's doing awesome. Because again, so do you see, if this dog was in a sit or doing what, you know, Cranberry's about to put him in a sit and everything, no, your dog's gonna behave good because he's following the lead. Your dog's more likely to misbehave if, he, if he's around a dog that isn't trained. Or a dog that's like trying to get all up in his business. He's doing awesome. Your dog's doing great, huh? Yes. <laughs> Step back, please. Okay. So he's not gonna give us an opportunity to, I might have been wrong again. Maybe he doesn't, good sit. But see how I stopped what I was saying to look at him because he sat down? Maybe he doesn't need a, maybe he doesn't need a training collar, dude. He's, he's look at him. Oh, he's, he's ready to get over there. Good, Papa. All right, walk him away, put him up, please. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. So, yeah, so like I said, you yes, do this for about 14 days and I'll let you come out for another session, I won't charge anything for it, okay. just so we'll get an update and okay. see. 
And listen, like I said, if you do what I'm telling you to do, if you do, so it's unrealistic for you to do 10 of those sessions a day for three or five minutes at a time because you have a career. You know what I mean? Like this is my job, so that's why I'm able to do that. Okay. So, but realistically, if you can do two or one three-minute session a day, it's going to make a difference. If it's raining outside, then do it in the house. Make them get to your left-hand side and walk around the house and make them do it around the house. Okay. Blend it in the, into the routine so it doesn't seem like you're quote-unquote training. Okay. So how do you blend it into the routine, yeah? I'll tell you. Let's say you put the leash on them, and then you start walking, and you walk to the kitchen, you come up to the sink, you put him in a sit, you know, by placing him the way I showed you, and you turn the faucet on and stuff. If he stands up, stop messing with whatever you're messing with, sit his butt back down. Okay. Touch him, walk over to the end of the kitchen. At the end of the kitchen, turn back around facing the kitchen. Apply pressure, make him sit down. Walk away from him. If he gets up, what do you think I want you to do? Make him sit. Place him. Yeah. Use the leash. That type, the, that type of behavior is going to make him understand. See, what's happening, what has happened right now is he thinks you're in charge. Or he just thinks that he has to behave here, like people do when they come to the church. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as soon as they leave the church, they misbehave, yeah? yeah. So don't let him leave church today and misbehave. Okay. Because you're with him. And he needs to know, right? You're in charge. You don't have to be mean about it. You just got to be more stubborn than him. You did amazing, huh? Yeah. Dude, listen, I don't know what it is, yeah? I always try to, I thought to, I thought, hey, Cranberry, I got the perfect class coming. This dog's going to be wild. He's the same Bernard. He's five years old. Dude, we're going to have a perfect video. It's going to be, it's going to be a disaster. Uh -huh. And the dog did amazing. Yeah. Happens all the time, man. We start videotaping and the dogs do way better than we expected. He did amazing, but you know what? You did amazing. I'm being honest with you. You did a great job handling him. It's a lot to take in at one time. You made it look easy. Okay? Very, very good. Now, right shoulder, so on his left shoulder blade with your right hand, you're going to swipe down and you're going to tell him to go bananas, which is his at ease, yes? Go bananas. Good, 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 my love. Good, go bananas. Very, very, very good. No, awesome. that is going to the silence.